Hi, this is Mario with Mario's Math Tutoring, coming to you with another math video to help you boost your score in your math class, improve your understanding, and hopefully make learning math a lot less stressful. So what we're going to talk about in this geometry video is when you're working with similar solids, how do you find the volume given the surface area? We're going to look at an example and I'm going to show you uh, how to work with the scale factor, the ratio of the errors, and the ratio of the volumes uh, in this video. So let's go ahead and jump right into it. Here we're given two square pyramids. You can see the bases are squares, they're pyramids. This pyramid's a little bit larger than this pyramid, but let's just say in this example that they tell us that the two uh, pyramids are similar. What that means is that the corresponding angles are congruent, but the ratios of the sides, okay, and the ratio of the lengths are proportional. So, you know, they're, the one figure is proportionally larger. It's not distorted. It's not like it's, you know, a lot taller than it is wide. You know, it's, it's scaled, okay, according to a certain scale factor. And they give us the two surface areas are 16 and 25. And what I'm going to do is I'm just going to write that as a ratio, 16 over 25. Now, what you want to pay attention to is that area is a two-dimensional, right? So if we want to find the scale factor, meaning like the ratio of the side lengths like that, we're going to have to take the square root of the ratio of the surface area. So by taking the square root, square root of 16 is 4, square root of 25 is 5. Now I know that the ratio of this side length to this side length, okay, they're in the ratio of 4 to 5. Now, if I want to find the ratio of the volumes, remember volume is actually three-dimensional, right? So it's like length width height it's 3d right it's three dimensional so we have to take the scale factor which is the ratio of the one dimensional uh, parts of the figures and we have to cube that scale factor to get the ratio of the three dimensional component okay the volume so if we take that four fifths and we cube it we get 64 over 125 now we know the ratio of the volumes they give us the volume of the smaller pyramid which is 20 and so I'm going to make a proportion. I'm going to say 20 is to V, the volume of the larger pyramid. Now, how did I know to put the 20 here and not here? Well, you can see 64 is smaller than 125, so I'm comparing the small to the large, small to the large, and we're making a proportion. So this is what we're going to solve right here. What you want to do is you want to cross multiply. So we have 64V equals 20 times 125, and then you just want to divide both sides by 64, and that's going to give you the volume of the larger pyramid. I'll go to the calculator. We'll figure it out real quick just so you can see uh, what this comes out to. So it's 20 times 125 all divided by 64. It looks like it's approximately 39. I'm just going to round. Approximately 39 centimeters cubed. Okay, so you're with me so far? So you want to analyze whether it's a one-dimensional, like you're comparing side lengths or perimeters okay, or circumferences, uh, or if it's two-dimensional, like area or surface area, then it's, you know, two-dimensional, you want to square that scale factor, or if it's three-dimensional, whether it's volume, you know, you're comparing, you know, uh, a three-dimensional figure to another three-dimensional figure, you want to take that scale factor and cube it. Now, the tricky question uh, is really when they're giving you, like, the volume and you want to find the ratio of the surface areas, or the surface area, you want to find the ratio of the volumes. What I recommend doing is figure out what the scale factor is first, and then you can square that scale factor to find the ratio of the areas or cube that scale factor to find the ratio of the volumes. So if you can find the scale factor, that'll make it a lot easier. Let's take a look at this chart here. If you know the scale factor is 1 to 2, what's the ratio of the areas? 1 to 4, right? Because I'm squaring 1, that's 1. I'm squaring uh, 2, that's 4. The ratio of the areas is 1 to 4. What's the ratio of the volumes? Well, 1 to 2, if I cube those, that's going to be 1 to 8. And I'm writing it like a, a ratio with the colon, but you can just as well write this as a fraction, 1 8, okay? Now, if they give us the ratio of the surface areas, 9 to 16, I'm going to want to take the square root, okay? So square root of 9 is 3, square root of 16 is 4, the scale factor is 3 to 4. Now I can find the ratio of the volumes by cubing the scale factor, because remember, this is one-dimensional, two-dimensional, three-dimensional, so to go from 1 to 3, I have to cube that, 3 cubed is 27, 4 cubed is 64. Now, this one here, they give us the ratio of the volume. Okay, let me make this a little bit different example to make it a little bit more interesting. Say this is 125 and say that this is maybe like, um, let's just say it was like uh, 8. So here what we're going to do is we're going to take the cube root. Okay, cube root of 8 is 2, cube root of 125 is 5. So now we have the ratio of the side lengths, okay, the scale factor. We can then square that to get the ratio of the areas. That's 4 to 25. 
So basically, you want to figure out which one they're giving you. Is it one, two, or three dimensional? And then you can work your way back to find the scale factor and then go ahead and square it if you want to find the ratio of the areas or cube it if you want to find the ratio of the volumes. So I hope this helped you to understand uh, how to work with similar solids a little bit uh, more uh, easily and effectively. Subscribe to the channel, check out some of my past videos, and uh, I'll look forward to seeing you in the future ones. I'll talk to you soon.